Hi, this is Kevin from Mathsaurus, and in this video we're going to look at questions 1 to 5 of the grey kangaroo from 2021. The pink and the grey kangaroos are follow-on rounds from the UKMT Intermediate Maths Challenge. So if you do really well in the Intermediate Maths Challenge, then you can go on to take the kangaroo. You will do the grey kangaroo if you're in year 9 in England or equivalent years elsewhere, and you will do the pink kangaroo if you're in years 10 uh, or 11 and there are also uh, Olympiad rounds you can qualify for as well, the Cayley, Hamilton and McLaurin papers, again for each of those three uh, different year groups if you do very well in the math challenges. So these questions are kind of a harder version of IMC papers, so they are also great preparation if you're taking the intermediate math challenge. But I actually don't think you should watch this video because I've put all of these questions uh, as well as the solutions and also some video hints into free online courses that you can sign up for by clicking down below. There are courses for the Intermediate Maths Challenge, for Junior, Senior Challenges as well and for the Kangaroos and you can take those courses, you can try the questions, uh, you can have a look at the hints, you can check your answers before you watch the video solutions and it's really the best way to use this content to prepare for the challenges. Unlike here on YouTube there are no ads or distra distractions over there as well and there are upgraded courses, go for gold in math challenges, where you can really master the content and get well prepared uh, for the math challenges if you want to. Uh, but the free courses are really substantial and really useful and you can get a lot just by doing those as well. So I really encourage you to click on the link below and to sign up for one of those courses now. If you'd rather stay here on YouTube, of course you're very welcome. Um, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me get the content out there. Um, so let's get on uh, with these questions now. Question one isn't a difficult question, but we still want to do it efficiently to save time. So we've got 20 times 21 over 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1. So that's 20 times 21 divided by 5. And if rather than multiplying out the top, we spot there's a factor of 5 in the 20, then we can say, well, this is just 4 times 21, which is 84. And so the answer is D. So there's only one way these pieces can go together. Uh, we can see they've all got flat edges, top and bottom, so it's just going to be 1. Uh, row um, of uh, digits and things. So uh, this one has a flat edge on the right that must be on the right hand side. This one has flat edge on the left hand side that must be on the left. Uh, the only one with an in piece um, on uh, this side to go with the two would be this one then. And then, uh, okay, I've got to have one of these two next with the out piece. We need an out piece on this side for the two though. So it must be uh, that one over here. And this is the only way that they can go together. So we get 2 minus um, 102, and that gives us minus 100, and so the answer is A. So if we pour the same amount of water into each of these vases, uh, the ones that are narrowest at the bottom will fill up uh, most quickly, um, because if you think of sort of sort of like lots of layers of water, a narrow vase um, has a smaller amount of water with the same height. Uh, so uh, the one that has the narrowest uh, base here is A, and so that one's going to fill up uh, fastest um, because it says there's a volume of one litre and it's half a litre going in so they're all going to go half full uh, so you know we don't have to like for C for example we don't have to worry about the fact that it gets narrow again later on we're just looking at the bottom half and uh, it's fairly clear then that A is the one that's narrowest to the bottom. This is one of those interesting maths challenge questions where you can get away with not doing it properly um, so uh, we will do it kind of properly so to speak as well uh, afterwards um, but if there is an answer to this question, it must work for all values of A, B, C, and D, uh, where we get A, B plus C, D is 137 here. Um, you know, it doesn't tell us that you know A, B, C, and D have to be different even. It says that for any choice of A, B, C, D that uh, adds to give this, we're going to get the same answer. So you can just pick uh, something uh, that works here. So you know, just pick the easiest thing you can think of. Let's just do 99 plus 38. So uh, that would be A is 9, B is 9, C is 3, and D is 8. And uh, so we'll get here 9, 3, 8, 9. Um, C, A will be 3, 9. And then we've got B, D in that order, 9, 8. And I can just add those together, 7, 1, 3, 8, 1, 3. And we get 1, 3, 8, 3, 7. And that's the answer to this question. As I say, for the logic I gave at the beginning, you know, it can't matter which combination we choose here. If you chose different numbers that added up to 137, we'd still get 13837. So for a math challenge, you can just do that and move on. If you want to think about it a bit more carefully, 
um, the logic here really is that you know, if AB plus CD is 137, then also uh, AD plus CB would be 137. Like if I just swap the units digits of these additions, uh, it doesn't make any difference, right? Here I'm doing 10 times A plus B plus 10 times C plus D, and I'm just adding exactly the same things together. Uh, in this sum, so if you take uh, AD00 and CB00 and add them together, that would be like just putting these bits together. That will give us 13700. And here we're adding those numbers together, and we're also adding it to CB plus AD. Okay, we know that CB plus AD is uh, just 137. So the answer, whatever the values we take here, must be 13700 plus uh, 137, which again gives us 138. Um, uh, Three seven. Okay, um, so the logic there uh, can be done more rigorously, but for a maths challenge, you just want to get the answer and move on as quickly as you can. A bike lock has these four wheels numbered with zero to nine in order, and uh, that means there's ten digits on them in total on each of those wheels. So when we rotate by 180 degrees, the numbers are just in order. So we're going to move on five spaces in each. So it doesn't matter if we go forward or, or backwards here. Um, so uh, 6 will go either forward or backwards if you like to 1, uh, so actually that already narrows out everything apart from uh, B and C. 3 will become uh, 8 then, and actually there we go, we've got that the answer is B. Um, you can also check 4 plus 5 is 9, 8 plus or minus 5 is 3 or 13, but either way we get to 3. So there we go, the answer is B. So I really hope you found this video useful. Don't forget, if you're preparing for maths challenges at any level, I've made free courses for all of the maths challenges. You can find links uh, in the descriptions below. Uh, click there and sign up to those now. No payment details required, uh, nothing like that. So you can sign up totally free of charge. There are some upgraded courses as well with some extra content. If you really want to master the challenges, you can sign up for those as well. But there's loads over there uh, for free. So I really hope that I will see you over there soon.